You know, one of the conversations I frequently have in the real world when people meet me and they learn what I do is they say, right, OK, you do the show, but what's your full time job? <laughs> and I explain, no, this is my full time job. And they say, wow, can you really can you really make a living doing that? And of course, the answer is yes, depending on how your show is funded. An easy way is you just get hired by some big corporate media company. You have layers of editors and you can be fired at any time if you say the wrong thing. And by wrong, I mean something your editors don't want you talking about. The alternative is what we do, which is we're funded directly by our audience. No one person can influence what we do say or the positions that I take, because all they can really do at the end of the day is threaten to pull their three or six dollars a month in funding or their 60, 70 bucks a year. They are free to do that, and I'm free to continue doing the show the way I want to do it. And it gives us an independence that many in corporate media simply don't have. All of this to say, if you like the show and you value the independence of the show, I invite you to consider signing up at joinpacman.com. We offer a suite of perks for our subscribers, including an extra show every single day called the bonus show, which Alex Jones despises Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money. But everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. Yeah, well, we're funding ourselves, Alex. Thank you very much. Maybe we'll buy Infowars, which is now up for auction with some of the membership money. Actually, there is a liberal group looking at buying Infowars, but we'll talk about that on the bonus show today. We also provide uh, commercial free audio and video streams of the show every day for our members and so many other things. So consider it. Consider signing up at joinpacman.com. In a disgusting new interview with News Nation, Donald Trump has admitted that he would deport legal immigrants if he feels like it. Donald Trump told the interviewer, Ali Bradley, that even though the Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio, are here legally under a framework that's been the law for decades called temporary protected status, since Trump feels like they are, quote, overrunning Springfield, he would simply revoke their protected status and deport them. This is a dangerous lunatic who does not respect the rule of law, despite claiming to be the candidate of law and auto or sometimes correctly said law and order. Trump's mass deportations will include legal immigrants. Listen to this. Springfield is such a beautiful place. Have you seen what's happened to it? It's been overrun. You can't do that to people. Uh, they have to be removed. So you would revoke the te temporary protected status? Absolutely. I'd revoke it and I'd bring them back to their country. I would send them back to their country. This is one of the bigger dangers of another four years of Trump. It's way bigger than the immigrants, but I'm going to get back to the immigrants in a moment. You don't like the Iran deal, even though Iran didn't violate it. Cancel it. That's what Trump did. Don't want to be part of the Paris Climate Agreement, even though we signed on to it. Get out of it. Don't want to meet your responsibilities under NATO for shared defense of NATO allies. Say you won't do it unless they start paying more because you say they should be paying more. And then at the tail end of this now, you don't like some specific immigrants who have legal status under the law. Just revoke it and kick them out. Now, whether Trump would in fact be able to do this is a different question, but his desire to do it alone is disgusting. Green card holders can be deported if they commit certain crimes. That's part of the law right now. That's not about a president saying, I don't like you and I don't like you. And I now have to because I said something really stupid. I said they're eating the cats, they're eating the dogs. Because I said that and it was stupid, now I need to make good on it, sort of like I used a Sharpie to change a hurricane map to make myself look right. I now am going to just say, eh, I don't like you being here. That's not the point of the law around green card holders being deported if they commit certain crimes. Those who hold temporary protected status, they can be deported if they commit certain crimes. Legal immigrants who are refugees or asylees could be subject to deportation if they are convicted of crimes or if there's evidence that they pose a national security threat. 
if a legal immigrant is found to have obtained that legal status because they lied or committed fraud or misrepresented their situation. For example, if you claim asylum and then it turns out you made it all up, the circumstances you described in your home country aren't true. You are subject to deportation. You need a legal finding in order to determine that. And then if you step back, presidents might have some broader authority to deport legal immigrants who are determined to be national security threats, but they would need to be determined to be national th security threats through due process. Trump's not talking about that. Trump's just saying the Haitian migrants in Springfield with temporary protected status, we're going to kick them out. The whole point of temporary protected status was there are people from countries suffering from war, disaster, authoritarian rule, political persecution, etc. And we want a framework to give them a safe place to stay while maybe their home countries recover. Maybe they don't. When you say I'm going to go after immigrants who have followed the rules we've established, you can say, I don't think we should give asylum to people. OK, we'll make that case. That sounds antithetical to what the US is based on. But you can argue, I don't think we should give asylum to people. Fine. But it's been the law for decades and they did what they are required to do. Many of them have built lives here. Forget about the fact that they're actually contributing very positively in Springfield, Ohio, and were invited to go there. Trump is showing disregard not only for the humanitarian aspect of this. He's showing disregard not only for the economic aspect of this. He's also showing disregard for the law because this is what the law says they're supposed to do. And they did it. And what's especially troubling is that the plan targets people who are not only here legally, but they are here legally under a framework which many others are also here legally under. But Trump is only talking about the Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio. If you really wanted not that I would support it, but if you wanted to appear to be applying this in a fair way, you would say, I'm not just going to target target Haitian migrants in Springfield. I'm going to target everyone who is here with a certain status. It's still unclear whether it would be legally justified. It's doubtful whether he would actually succeed. But at least there would be the appearance of being about the law and not about these specific, let's be frank, black migrants from Haiti. Trump is not doing that. The only silver lining, if there is one, is that maybe Trump wouldn't be able to actually do this. But the fact that he wants to is reason enough not to vote for him with elections right around the corner and MAGA willing to do anything to secure his win. I can't recommend enough using ground news to stay up to date on debates and other issues that right wing outlets will try to skew or ignore. Our longtime sponsor ground news adds clarity to every news story by putting together a multitude of sources in one place and you can compare coverage and decide for yourself. Like this story, the DNC is suing the Georgia Election Board over Republican supported rules that allow local election boards to question and withhold election certification, potentially causing chaos after Election Day. The summary of this story on Ground News is based on every article Ground News found reporting on it. And with a simple scroll, you can see how different outlets across the political spectrum are framing the story. Voter suppression is real. And in this case, the perpetrators are elected officials who can be voted out, but only if the public understands the story from every angle. And that's where ground news comes in. Go to ground.news slash Pacman or scan my QR code for 40 percent off the Vantage plan that I use for unlimited access to all their features. The link is in the description.